Hey, what's up guys? We are in upstate New York in the little town of Palmyra. This is the birthplace of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And today, I'm gonna give you a little crash course on Mormon history. So the story starts in 1820, when young Joseph Smith, who at the time was 14 years old, was living in that log cabin behind me. He walked down this little trail into the forest back here, which we call the Sacred Grove. So he came into the grove and he knelt down and prayed about which church was the correct church to join. And in answer to his prayer, God the Father and Jesus Christ actually appeared to Joseph Smith and told him not to join any of the churches. What you doing, Ease? I'm really curious. Oh, oh you squishy. <laughs> I think we're good. By the way, there's over seven miles of trails through the sacred grove, so you just wander around in here. But there's exit signs all over, so you never really get lost. You just follow those till you get out. Like this. Okay, so out of the grove, back up to the log cabin. This is three years later now. Joseph Smith is still wondering what church to join when he's sleeping up in the top of this log cabin and an angel appears to him and tells him to go get these gold plates that are hidden in a hill about three miles from here. Let's go into the cabin, I'll show you. So this is the parents' bedroom. This is bigger than our bedroom. <laughs> You'd think for such a small cabin, like, it'd be really cramped, but... There's so much space. Twice the size of our bedroom. Even that room is bigger than our bedroom. And the sisters slept back here? I think so, but there's a top hat, so I don't know. That's interesting. Dress up. Top hat? And upstairs. So up here in the top of the log cabin is where Joseph Smith Jr. and all of his eight brothers and sisters slept. And in this front room is where all the boys slept. In this room is where Moroni appeared to Joseph Smith and told him to go over to the Hill Cumorah to get the plates. So 1600 years before he appeared to Joseph Smith, the angel Moroni was a prophet and he was the last prophet to contribute to the golden plates. And when he was done writing, he buried them in the Hill Cumorah. This hill, three miles south of where Joseph Smith's family had their farm. So Joseph Smith comes to the hill, finds the plates, and meets with Moroni every single year for four years until he's 21, and finally Moroni says, you're ready to take the plates. So he takes the plates back to the farm. Back on the farm now, this is the cooper shop that Joseph Smith's dad used to fix barrels and kegs. This is one of the hiding spots that Joseph Smith Jr. used to hide the gold plates. He hid them up here in the loft, and when the mobs came, they took up the floor, they looked through everything but didn't find them up there. Four years after Moroni's visit in the log cabin, which is about 100 yards over that way, Joseph and his family are now in the frame house. These are original bricks. That was one of the hiding places under the bricks. Or maybe that one. Some of the bricks. <laughs> So it's 1827 now, Joseph Smith has the gold plates, he translates them, and now he's got the manuscripts and they need to be printed. So we're back here in downtown Palmyra at the Grandin Printing Press. So the book was printed here on the third floor but the pages were too heavy and the stairs were too steep to bring down the stairs. So they lowered him down on this pulley to the second floor where they were bound. You get it all damp, you put the book binding in here, wrap it off really tight, up really tight on top, and then it looks like this when you glue it down. You stamp each individual letter one at a time. One at a time, so it says B O O K O F M O R M O N. But isn't that so much work for one book? This is 
one of the original 5,000 copies of the Book of Mormon. You can see yeah, the letters are a little off because they put each one on one at a time. The book actually took seven months to print and another 17 months to bind, which is crazy. I had no idea. So it was translated in less than a year. They brought it here and it took two years to actually print. So now the Book of Mormon is printed and we'll learn about a family who comes out of Jerusalem, travels over to the American continent, and then we follow them and their descendants for the next thousand years. As some of them believe in Christ and some of them don't, and we see their consequences, and then Jesus Christ himself actually comes and teaches the people. And right now, we're at the Hill Camorra pageant, where thousands of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are actually going to portray some of those stories from the Book of Mormon. So talk. By the way, if you want to know what Joseph Smith looks like, that's a pretty good representation. After the many testimonies which have been given of Jesus Christ, this is the testimony, last of all, which we give of him, that he lives. So that's it for the pageant, and that's it for their basic Mormon history. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Keep the comments good. Uh, no anti-Mormon stuff, and you know, this is a friendly channel, friendly place. If you want to learn about Islam, if you want to learn about Buddhism, click some of the videos up here. If you want to come along for the ride, we've got another four or five thousand miles left on this road trip. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, tomorrow we'll be in Michigan and then we'll head across the top of the country. We'll see you then. Bye!